chronic recurring one-sided lower back pain. One of the most often missed causes of this is a short leg. Now this is a very important x-ray to take. It's a standing AP lumbopelvic x-ray. And what ends up happening in most low back pain workups is this AP lumbopelvic x-ray is actually taken lying down. So you actually miss the anatomical short leg. And in this particular patient's case, what we end up seeing is an 11 millimeter uh, deficiency on the right side. Here's what happens as a result. It changes the mechanics of the spine throughout. We end up seeing increased stress and strain on the discs, on the vertebra and the vertebral end plates. That's why we see this whitening here. Uh, the facet joints, which are oftentimes a cause of pain, and a facet joint, which is where the back of the lumbar spine articulates, will oftentimes radiate in a very characteristic pattern, sort of down and around. So oftentimes patients will think they have sciatica, but it's really just an irritated facet joint. Why? Because the leg is short and it changes the mechanics of the spine. We also very, very, very characteristically see increased stress and strain on one of the sacroiliac joints. And this is one of our trade secrets in terms of fixing one-sided low back pain. Once we can diagnose which sacroiliac joint is irritated, I will take B12 and I will inject it into around this part of the gluteal fold or the gluteal musculature and then we will do laser therapy around the affected irritated joint which calms it down. We'll then take the pressure off of either the facet joints or the vertebral bodies themselves, either through decompression or adjusting specifically the parts of the spine that are jammed or imbricated. Um, lastly, we need to address the short leg. So the cheap and easy solution is once we have the actual measurement or millimeter difference, we can then uh, just insert a core heel lift on the short side, which will take some, some of the stress off of, this, uh, off of the affected areas, or we can order an orthotic for the patient and have that built up on that right side. Things to consider as well is, oftentimes a short leg will cause, be the cause of hip pain or degenerative hips, and we will oftentimes see that when the one right side is short, the patient will often have an increased degenerative change in the femoral heads or in the hip bursa itself. Um, so there you have it. One of the most missing or hidden causes of one-sided low back pain, short leg. You need to take a standing AP lumbopelvic x-ray and that will address how you treat this problem.